In the previous session, we saw how we can convert a net to its solid. This session will be a bit different. We will be given a few nets and asked to find out if cubes can be formed out of them. Here's the first net, the second one, the third one and the fourth one. We assume that each face in each of the nets is a square. These are the four nets we have. How many of them when folded would result in a cube? Let's look at the first figure. We had seen in the previous session that the best way to figure out the solid from its net would be by placing it on a plane. How can we do that here? Let's draw these four squares on a plane surface first. They would look a bit like this. And these two square faces are attached to the middle two square faces. If they are made vertical, they will be drawn like this. These two square faces you see are these two in the original figure. They have been made vertical, that's all. Now take a moment and think if we can form a cube out of this shape. Let's try. We can make these two square faces vertical to get a better idea. This is how the figure will look when they are made perpendicular to the plane surface. Now it's pretty evident that a cube cannot be formed out of this no matter how you fold it. It means that a cube cannot be formed with this net. We move on to the second net now. Pause the video and think if a cube can be formed with it. We use the same technique to start off. We draw the net as if it's lying on a plane. These four faces can be drawn like this and the two faces attached to these two squares can be drawn like this. This net on a plane surface would look like this. Can a cube be formed out of this? To get a better idea, we can make these two square faces vertical and that will give us this figure. Now we still can't say if a cube can be formed out of this. How do we fold it further? It's easy. It just requires a little bit of imagination. If we tilt the two square faces on the left onto this one and make the square at the extreme right vertical, we get this figure. Four vertical faces and two horizontal. Understand this well. The two square faces on the left were tilted onto this one and the square face at the extreme right was rotated to make it vertical. Can we make a cube out of this figure? Of course we can. If we tilt these three to the left, we get a perfect closed cube like this one. Yes, a cube can be formed out of this net. What about the third net? Can a cube be formed out of it? Pause the video and give it a thought. It shouldn't have taken you much time. If you observe the figure well, it has just five faces. Not enough to form a cube because a cube has six faces. So, a cube cannot be formed from this net. And what about the fourth figure? Pause the video and try it out. This is how the net will look if placed on a plane surface. Four faces in the same line and two more attached to one of the squares. Making these two square faces vertical will give us a figure which looks like this. Two vertical faces and four horizontal ones. What do you think of it now? Can a cube be formed? Imagine that we tilt these two towards the two vertical squares and this one clockwise. What will we get? We will get a figure like this. These two were rotated anti-clockwise and this square face was made vertical by rotating it clockwise. Now if we just drop the square face towards the left, we will get a cube. So yes, a cube can be formed out of the fourth net. All this we did in between is what you're supposed to imagine in your head. And it's not too difficult. A good way to excel at this is by understanding the concepts well and then lots of practice.